What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. We are hiding behind a whole bunch of laboratory equipment and staring at that safe. See, it's probably got the safest position in the room right now. Let me look in here. I know I'll regret it if I don't. There's nothing inside of it because it's a stash that, oh my god, it's a stash that hasn't actually been activated yet. Things are still being thrown at me. In general, the poltergeist activity is still continuing. We are here in this underground laboratory attempting to find, like, some documents or something like that. Unfortunately, things are not going so crate. Well, things are going amazingly crate if you're actually, well, no, he got busted into pieces though. He he fell to pieces under scrutiny, so unfortunately, the things that are being thrown out of us, like, some of them break and some of them don't. They're repeat projectiles, I guess. We still got that fizzly thing over there, and I don't know what to do with it, so I'm gonna stay the hell away from it. It doesn't appear to be that interested in us, aside from, I think that it's actually the source for all the stuff that's being thrown at us right now. And so, while I would really prefer not to be canned, let's just walk down this hallway. In the previous episode, I believe we had just infiltrated here, and I think there's a door back here... I don't recall whether or not... Well, let's take a look at it real fast. So there's a combination lock here. And, okay. Well, it appears... That, well, it jiggled a little bit. On the plus side, it did expel a little bit of dust. So maybe the electrical system still works. So we're probably going to want to go back in here. I'll eat a sausage real quick. And then we're going to want to... Please don't. Stop that. That's right. I'll shoot you before you get thrown... Damn it! It was just a ruse. One of the cans was attacking from behind while I was shooting the one in the front. They're smarter than we originally anticipated. Okay, well, we got to find the key to a door, I guess. So let's have a walk through these creepy ass hallways, or a sprint even. I'm just gonna sprint my way through because I don't want to risk getting caught up with that little electrical guy. Still haven't actually played around and seen if I can kill him yet, so... They don't seem to be that horrifying. As long as he's not chasing me and trying to fizzly, like, fizzle me gently, I think that we'll be okay here. I don't feel like being fizzled. I just had lunch and I'm feeling very, very full right now. And so unfortunately, fizzling does not go along with the overall game plan of things that I wanted to accomplish. What in general does any of this... Oh, that's a horrifying sound. I don't even want to know what that means. Is something hitting me right now? There's no cans levitating or anything like that, but I heard a roar and then I took some damage. Did I step in steam or something? I don't know. Very, very odd things are happening in here right now and all of it makes me feel incredibly... Nope. Please stop being thrown at me. I mean, you have a choice in all this. You can choose not to be continued fire around the room randomly and maybe hope that I hit something because it feels like there might be something here trying to hurt me. I keep hearing weird snarling like doom beast noises and that is to say beasts from doom appear to be making noises and I'm afraid of them so ooh, what is this? Alright well we got a locker room over here can I turn this big valve? No. There will be no valving right now. Well fine then I want to get turned up anyways. Got that over there. What is going on right here? Let me break you real fast. I will break you. There's nothing inside of it. Unfortunate. Another loot crate that actually has no loot. Therefore, it is simply a crate. It lost its adjective up in the front. Alright, well. We wander around. Oh, fizzly thing. No. Oh, man. It's levitating again. Stop that. God, the David... The violent David Copperfield action in here is seriously just going too far over the edge. Please don't run into me. My god, I just want this place to end. I don't want to be here anymore. Can I activate these? No. There's buttons and I want to push them right now, and that's pushing my buttons that I can't push the game's button. No! <sighs> the clinking and clanking and clonking of things that are trying to give me a bonking. What is this? Ooh, this stash has stuff in it. Yes, please, I'll take that. Well, if we ever track down where this key code might be at, maybe I should get better at navigation. That would be the real problem here. It looks like maybe if I weave through here and then get more stuff thrown at me maybe that's the qualifiers you just have to be brained by a couple of random flying objects before you can go any further into the dungeon can I hurt you I don't think that that actually does anything right there I don't know I don't see any blood spots or anything else happening when I take shots at him so I think I'm just gonna leave it alone for right now seems like a waste of ammunition and there's a lot of explosives around and I would rather not be immolated right now well Oh, look, there's a stairway down here. Okay, so maybe we'll go a little bit deeper. Uh, no. Ow! No! What the hell was that? Oh, I don't appreciate this at all. Weird supernatural occurrences are taking place. They are taking place. Taking first place in my current concerns. Oh my god, what the... Nope! Hell beast, I ain't coming in there with you. You look like you've done too much upper body work. That's what happens. The lower half, sh like, it shrivels, and then you end up just like this weird ice cream cone-shaped thing. I could take a couple more shots, and I don't know if it's actually... That's right. Can it fit through the door? That would be... Oh, you got some weird, like, backhand... I see. He's definitely a backhanded individual. He's got, like, hands coming out of his back. I don't think that's where those are supposed to grow out of genetically, pal. 
Oh, we killed it. It looks like his stomp is what was doing damage. Maybe through the floor, like we were up above him. No loot, which is unfortunate. He's got those big old, like, mug of fool arms, so I figure he'd probably be pretty good at taking people out, but I guess not. No loot to be carried. Maybe he just does it for the endeavor. Like, some people, they do things just to do them. Like, they don't even care about the payoff. Maybe that's what we're looking at right here, is he just likes beating the hell out of people and stomping on the ground and throwing temper tantrums because it's a gratifying thing to do. He doesn't even care about the payoff. So, given that he was a major threat in here, I'm a tad worried that there will be something else scary in here. So, let's just pay attention for a little bit and hope that nothing bad happens. Right? I guess we'll go upstairs first. We'll take the high ground because, you know, that seems to be my strategy for most things. We'll go right in. Is there anything actually in there? Some radiation medication, just in case you feel like you're glowing. That you've had any random particles flowing through you. Quick save real fast so that we don't have any problems here in case things get really, really out of hand. And we really need to clear out our inventory. Our weight allotment right now is kind of like over the top, and I don't know what to do about it. I, God, what can we get rid of here? I suppose I could probably throw down the armor. Yeah, that'll save us. We actually need, like, we got better armor out of the previous area. We went up in, like, one of those lockers earlier, and it got us way better armor, so I don't think we'll need that anymore anyways. And given the fact that it's damaged, it means we'd have to throw a repair through it real fast to make it valuable, so, eh. Whatever. Ooh, a dead guy. A dead guy in a onesie. What's going on over here? Dear colleague, let me remind you that you will be servicing the tanks in the central laboratory starting tomorrow. You must inspect them every two hours. Make your reports directly to me. The code to the central laboratory is 9524. All right, I'm sorry about that, folks. I had, like, some weird discrepancies, but I do remember Mr. Onesie down here, Senor Onesie, had himself some super awesome loot, so we'll probably go through his corpse in just a moment. I just want to make sure that I'm safe. So what does he have right here? Ooh, he has an Enfield L85 A2. That looks pretty good. I'll throw that into my backpack greedily. I won't even think about it. Unless it's rigged with explosives, then we should probably check it, but I bet it's not. So it looks like a bullpup variant, and so it's a British Army replacement, huh? Okay, looks pretty badass, and it comes with a cool little scope. It fires 5.56 NATO, though, which is an ammunition source, which we really don't have a lead on right now. I think that you might be able to get it from the barman, but much beyond that, I don't really know what else to say. I, I hope we'll be able to get a lead on it because it seems like this gun would be a lot better than the previous one, but still. I checked this up here. I think I did that. I'm sorry. There was a little break in between, like, when I recorded the last little chunk in this right here. So, honestly, my mind, it comes and goes as it pleases. That's the worst part is it doesn't just, like, check in and leave, like, a little guest note or anything like that. It just leaves and then shows back up and does whatever the hell it wants. I have no clue how to deal with it any longer. And so, unfortunately, I'm left in one of those situations where I just have to plug ahead I think that, oh yeah, I dropped that suit previous. I had to load a save and fiddle with some stuff. You'll forgive me. I have to move some things around here. Unfortunately, like, there ended up being this weird thing that happened with the recording software that wiped things out, and so I had to load the quick save and then go back. We got the body. It's it's a mess, and I'd rather not think about it right now because every time I do that, it turns the whole episode into just, like, bitching practice where it's just me just grousing about things, and I don't feel like whinging right now. We can't put the grenade launcher on the end field. We can put the silencer on the end field. I don't know if it's worth doing, but I'm going to do it because it makes the gun look more professional. It makes me feel like I'm a smooth operator, and if not a smooth operator, then a rugged operator. I don't care which. Is stuff still being thrown at me right now? What the hell was that? I just took damage, and I'm now dripping my fluids everywhere. Damn it, I don't want to drip fluids right now. That's not how I like to spend my free time. So can I... Let me see if I can blow this bastard up. How about this? Try this. Did it work? No, it's still floating around. I might have aimed improperly, though. That has been a lifelong problem for me. Ask anybody that's cleaned the urinal after I've been there. Maybe I'll try again. Eat grenade! Oh, no, don't turn! Stand on top of my grenade. Oh, look, we got something! What was that? Oh, there he is! It's a creature? A weird orangutan creature. An orangutanga, as my little cousin likes to say. Okay, well, it's some kind of weird sentient orangutanga. Can I blow you up, too? I'm like, well, you already blew up my brother, so I figure, you know, my whole family died in the war. I know you probably don't want to hear my story right now, but, you know, I'm going to tell it either way. Additionally, you're kind of bad at throwing grenades. I wish that your story had incorporated more baseball, because then maybe you could aim. I'd be like, whoa, with the trash talk orangutan. And you think, well, you know, you are trying to blow me up and murder me right now, and you did actually cause one of my family members to become a casualty. Let's see, we got nine, five, two, four. There it is. Okay. 
And we're into the control center. What it controls remains to be seen. I'm hoping it has a lot of buttons and levers because I enjoy pushing and pressing on those and just making them do my bidding. It's in here. I hear the sound of... Oh, no. Flammable materials are in here. Oh, and the door's blocked off, I think. No! Oh, my God. It looks like flamethrowers are coming out of the spirit realm to try and kill me. I don't... What? Oh, the door closed. Okay, well, let's go up in here real fast. I'm going to regroup for just a moment and see if I can get my head screwed on straight. Because obviously, lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, and all that fun stuff. And I think I may have lost track of some of the basic managerial duties that go around that sort of thing. So, is something causing these? I shoot at you, fireball. I shoot at you. Well, I shot at you a couple seconds ago, anyways. Diatribe seems to have fallen behind slightly. Eat some sausage, and then... What the hell is in these tanks? Some kind of weird creeper baby thing. Creeper baby, do you live? Let me shoot you. Well, creeper baby apparently was dead long before I shot him, although this is looking a little incriminating right now. Police officer walks into the room and is like... Oh yeah, there's a... Okay, so I missed him. Let me see if I can get him with the gray. It looks like he's just like a fire variant of the other thing that tried to murder me. So maybe if I can get a grenade on. I don't know if guns actually affect those. They seem to walk along like prescribed trails too. Let me see if I got him there. Oh, I fell through the stairs and I blew myself up with my own grenade. Damn it, with friends like myself, who needs giant flame floaty supernatural enemies? Okay, well what if I set up in here? No, stop shooting fire at me. Throw that in there maybe. Did I kill anything? Oh, that one looked like it got him, maybe. Can I shoot him? Oh, shooting works too, although I don't know if you have to aim higher or like aim low on those. But it appears to have jibbed him up, so I'll take that. We have like a weird earthquake taking place though, which is... An oh no, I'm blacking out. So what you're telling me right now is we were sort of like a gun-wielding Pied Piper before all of this. It's impressive. I think that's a career slot that's probably difficult to get into, seeing as you only need one. one and two, check the first floor. Team three, the main hall. Teams four and five, second floor. Ooh. Sounds like we've got a military incursion coming along. Do we ever check up in here? Maybe I should take a look. This looks like, what is that, a backpack? Okay, so med kits, some band-aids, a little bit of ammunition. Okay. Another P99 or whatever the hell this gun's called. Down here got a bunch of kill- Ooh! We got ourselves a treasure trove. Don't mind if I do. Let me get my hands all over you, delicious little bandages. Yes, radioactive away. You will come with me as well. I figure you should just go with radio away. Oops, I opened the console. That was my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Let me duck here and see if I can hit these properly. What do they have for me? What you got? Ooh, looks like more AK-47 ammo. Ooh, yes. And then what do you have? Nades! Big old box full of grenades. That seems like a really dangerous thing to have in the middle of a chemical lab that's full of, like, random flame-spouting supernatural beings. If a grenade gets hit by fire, does it blow up? Somebody in the military will have to tell me that one because I'm not so sure. Never tested that out. I'm going to swap back in the AK-74 just in case because I don't want to waste our 556. I hear the sound, the pitter-patter of individuals firing at other individuals, so I don't know if maybe they're popping off with all of the supernatural baddies that are in here. Or if now they're fighting with other people that have also come in after me. Let's be very, very careful on the way in because as I recall, the military is fairly well equipped. And I don't want to be on the business end of whatever their business is down here in the dungeon. Okay, so it's clear in here. Another one of those things around. I'll probably just, I don't know if I want to spend much time like, damn it, I got hit by a ricochet right there. Damn it. Alright, well now that he's out of the way... I think I'm just going to try and exit. I just want to be the hell out of here. This place has been generally unpleasant. The entire time that I've spent here, it has done nothing but try and murder me, so... Oh, hold on. One second. If 
you're wondering why I'm going back right now, I think, weren't there documents around here or something that we needed to grab? I see them on my radar. Let me see if I can find them real fast. Around here, maybe? No. There we go. They're on the table. Got them. And so now that we got the thing, I almost walked out. I almost did it again. We almost had another flash drive situation. Anyways, I went silent right there because my brain was just overloaded with the processing of the papers that we had forgotten to pick up, unfortunately. Let me throw some more sausage down my throat, and then we'll be on our way back down and around to where we were. Hopefully we'll avoid getting bludgeoned with floaty objects around here. It's really odd how everything seems to be so buoyant. Only when I'm around. They don't throw things around except for when I'm in the vicinity, so I guess I must have done something to deserve it. What I did to deserve it, I can't really tell you, but I don't know. We'll sort it out or something. Ow! Alright, back up the stairs. Nursing yet another protuberance. A couple more band-aids to get rid of the bleeding or whatever, because we're carrying around like 5,000 bandages. Be like King Tut up in here. Just move very slowly. I should probably turn off my flashlight, but you know what? I have trouble. There he is right there. You want to get some? Headshots. I got him for you. Headshots all day long, and so I've claimed another victim. Flashlight probably doesn't matter. He's got an abacan on him. I'll probably try and strip that for ammunition in just a moment. I think I saw it. Yeah, there he is right there. Another couple headshots put him to rest. He needed a nap anyways. He was being pouty and grumpy. I don't think he had his Cheerios this morning. Is that movement or what the hell is that? Drop the stuff that's too heavy since it's not doing us any good right now. If you wondered why I haven't used the modified Abacan this entire time, the wiki said the modified Abacan that you get from that bandit is way worse than the Rapid Fire AK-47. So I've been sticking with the Rapid Fire AK-47. Repair the on-field, okay. What just happened right there? I think it just ate one of my repair kits. Well, whatever, we'll figure it out. I have no idea what just occurred. Something weird happened and I don't feel like sitting around to ponder it. Oh, Christ, we got a camper over here. Got his tent and his bacon and his marshmallows. This guy. This guy. And then he's going to try and back up into there. Let me see if I can ping him a couple times with a few rounds and just see if that'll make him drop. It'd make me drop. I am not in the mood for getting shot today. No, Suri, Bob, Jim, Stacy, Sally, Sammy, whatever your name is. Did he circle around all the way over there? It's becoming dangerous for me. Yeah, he did go up in there, didn't he? Alright, well he's dead now. Not my problem any longer. Another orangutango weird levitating smoky monster over here. Not gonna worry about it. Nobody else hiding out. I like to sweep the entire area before I move on to others. I just want to make sure that they're all dead, because if they ain't, that creates a major issue for me. Alright, well, I feel as though we're probably just about safe, so... Let's trip some corpses here. I don't do it for perverted reasons. I just really, really, really want their ammo. Why that requires me to rifle through their bodies and leave them all naked, oblivion style. Don't ask. I don't make the rules. Oh, good. Radiation is decided. It's that little glowing moat right there causing all kinds of radioactive problems. Thank you for that radioactive moat. I appreciate your contribution to my adventures. We've got whatever the hell that thing was over there. I guess we can check the top floor now. Ah! Oh man, we didn't get him. That was a lot of body shots. Somebody signal him for a promotion because seriously. Woo! Sneaky, sneaky, cheeky, breaky, firing through the chain link, huh? Alright then. Alright then. I see how that goes. I see how that goes. Let's see if we can jump up in here. Uh, the elevator's now open, so I assume they came down that way, but I don't know. Whatever. Let's just grab his med kit and like his random potted meat and some of his ammunition. Grenade, too. There we go. All right, so it's looking good. Let me see if I can get out of here. So we'll dismount the silencer right there. Let's throw that on really quickly. 
grenade launcher, even though I haven't really planned out how to use it just yet. And then we'll go all in on some of this nonsense right here. Be careful as I extract, because I have no idea where this is going to land us, or where they're coming from, aside from the fact that it's raining men right now. They're coming down from the ceiling, that's all that I know. I hear some topic for debate taking place as well, which leaves me all kinds of nervous. Nothing in there so far. Oh, got one. Back down the... St he didn't shoot at me. That's odd. Why didn't you shoot at me? Why didn't that happen? Well, you're dead now. Sounds like your problem. And then there's another one over there. So get him real quick. All right, and so this gives us a decent vantage point where from above we should be able to look out and see what's going on in the courtyard. I don't know if we're going to be able to uncover anything right now, but taking the abacan so that I can actually get rid of... Oh, there's another one over there. Perfect timing figures right when I can't move. They're going to try and jump me. Drop the abacan so that maybe I can leave in just a moment. Kill him off with a couple of headshots. I only get careful about shooting when times are really, really dire. That's how you know. Okay, so another one bites the dust. Drop off some of the ammunition and random stuff that we don't need, or the guns anyways. Nothing out there. We're looking clear, so I don't have to worry about taking fire from behind. That's way worse than taking fire to the front. Taking fire to the behind, all kinds of bad. You got one of those hot salsa four hours later situations. In here. Okay, we're good right there. Check the roof. See, he's got a little bit of food on him. How did I not loot any of these bandits? Did I just like forget? Or what happened there? Up on the roof. Up on the roof. Dead guy over here. With an RPG. Oh damn. Does he have any ammo for it? Doesn't look like he has ammo. Come back for it in just a moment. I want to make sure that the room's safe before I start looting through things and kind of like hyper focusing on explosive propelled weapons. Nothing down that way. Lots of birds around, though, so apparently there's something to eat. They wouldn't be floating around like this if there wasn't. My god, how many tears does this roof need? There's some Johnsons and Johnsons in here. You know, I heard the Johnson family orchestrated a coup against the United States government, like, a while back. I gotta remember exactly when it happened, but hmm, let's see if I can get him real fast. The spread appears to be hurting me a little bit, but yeah, we'll put him on notice for right now. We'll send him written notice and triplicate with a bullet attached. Ooh, they shoot back. They shoot back. Who would have known? Alright then. I don't think I can get a shot off. And I definitely... Eh. I was wondering if there might be a helicopter up here and I'd be able to take the thing out. I don't know. It's a weird situation to be in. Let's head back down. And I think that once we get ourselves clear... Yeah, let me break off the episode right here. So my name is Splattercat. I will see you all next time. This is Stalker. Take care everybody. Hi-do.